Hey guys, it's Christine Vallis. I hope you're having a great day, an awesome week, and a blessed month here in this biblical month of Savan, where the Lord is reminding us of his extravagant provision and his extravagant love toward us. And I wanted to put a post up today because it's a significant day on God's calendar. As we find in scripture, it is the 23rd day of Savan, and this day is highlighted in the book of Esther in chapter 8. So I just wanted to highlight a few things because as I was reading through, I was like, wow, this is really good stuff. And it's really uh, timely that the Lord is bringing this, highlighting this here in this month of Savan, the month of great giving. Because as we read through Esther chapter 8, we'll see that God has given us great authority and he shows this to us through Queen Esther and Mordecai here in chapter 8 in the book of Esther. So break out your Bibles and check it out because at this point in the story, Esther approached the king, she revealed her, her true identity, Haman was revealed, his evil plot, he was already hung on the gallows. And so now at this point in chapter 8, we see that this authority was given to Esther and Mordecai. And so it says here in chapter eight that the king gave the house of Haman to Esther. It was basically over her overseeing, right? Her authority. And then it goes on to say that the king took off his signet ring, which he had taken back from Haman and gave it to Mordecai. Then it goes on through chapter eight and we see that actually Esther approached the king again, and he again extended his golden scepter to Esther, which was that rod of authority. And she stood and rose before the king, and she said, well, if it pleases the king, and if I am pleasing in your sight, and if I have found favor, would you please revoke this action toward the Jews? Because I cannot endure to see this toward my people. So Haman was killed, but this decree for the annihilations of the Jews was still in play. And so she was going to the king to ask him to revoke it, basically. And so if you read on, this is what he says to Esther and Mordecai. He says to Esther, I have given the house of Haman to Esther. And Haman was hung. And to Mordecai, the ring, right? And he says to Mordecai and Esther, now you write to the Jews as you see fit and say it in the king's name and use the king's seal. For a decree written in the king's name and sealed with his seal cannot be revoked. So this is exactly what they did. Esther was going to the king saying, can you rewrite this thing? And he was saying, no, I've given you the authority to do it. You do it, you write it in my name and with the seal of my ring. And so as we know, this is what happened. Mordecai and Esther, they came together and they wrote this new decree that basically decreed that the Jews could defend themselves and they could attack any people or nation that was coming against them. And that is exactly what they did. And what happened was as a result of that, when that decree went out, there was great rejoicing. And this was even before they defended themselves. They were just happy that they could defend themselves at all and that the curse was reversed, right? So Esther and Mordecai had to step up in their authority. And so I believe that's what the Lord is highlighting to us. He's saying, I've given you the authority. I've given you my word. I've given you my spirit. Even when Esther says, if I have found favor in your sight, we have the favor of God. If we are children of God, if we are born again, we have his favor. So we have everything. We actually have more than Esther and Mordecai had because we have the Holy Spirit as believers living in us 24 seven. So we have the power of the Holy Spirit and even the baptism of the Holy Spirit, which really gives us the boldness to speak. And so I am just sensing the Lord is saying, rise up in your authority, take action. No weapon formed against us shall prosper, but that every word of judgment 
we shall condemn. So we have to speak the truth in love and we have to speak in righteousness. Even I was thinking here in the month of Savan, in biblical history, this is the month where his word was given and this is the month where his spirit was given. So we have his word, we have his spirit, we have his favor, we have so much more than we think and God is saying, use it, use it for my good. And what happened was many people that were not believers, they were not Jews at the time, became Jews, they became believers because they couldn't believe what they were seeing, how God was acting on their behalf. You know, when we stand up and we speak up in boldness and in righteousness and in love, people are drawn to that and they will want to know what gives you the boldness, what gives you the peace, what gives you the authority, what gives you the love, what gives you all this. And it's an opportunity to lead others to the Lord. So I just want to encourage you guys, check out Esther chapter 8. There's so much in there, I couldn't even get it all out, but I encourage you to, to search it out for yourself. But be encouraged, use your authority, use your voice, go forth. He has given you everything you need to speak His truth in love and in boldness. Enjoy this 23rd day of Savan. Blessings.